Elon Musk has drawn significant attention by unveiling a major redesign of the new bionic hand, featuring a premium silicone covering, a structure that mimics human bones and joints, and the ability to both lift heavy objects and manipulate small items. This breakthrough marks a critical step toward bringing Optimus closer to human-like dexterity and flexibility, something competitors like Figure AI are still striving to perfect. So, how will this latest design enhance the effectiveness of Tesla Optimus? Before we begin, please help us reach 14,000 subscribers. It will be a huge motivation for us to continue bringing you great episodes about Tesla Optimus and the latest news. Why Tesla upgrade the hand design in Optimus Gen 3.5? The silicone hand design that Elon Musk revealed in a comment on Platform X came as a major surprise to those awaiting updates, what could be called the Tesla Optimus Gen 3.5. This represents a significant leap over the Gen 3 version. The hand is equipped with a high-grade silicone covering that provides superior friction for gripping slippery or complex-shaped objects. The silicone material not only enhances grip, but also offers a soft, skin-like texture, enabling more natural interaction in environments such as homes or healthcare settings. Compared to Gen 3, which featured 22 degrees of freedom, the Gen 3.5 hand is expected to reach 24 or even 25 degrees, approaching the 27 degrees of freedom found in a human hand. This advancement enables more complex gestures, such as wrist rotation, finger flexion, or highly precise grasping. The biomechanical actuation system places components in the forearm and uses elastic cables to drive the fingers, mimicking the human muscular system. This helps reduce hand size while increasing flexibility and energy efficiency. Additionally, the hand integrates advanced force and pressure sensors, enabling adaptive grip force tailored to different objects, from heavy items like 4680 battery trays in the factory to small items such as automotive screws. In terms of lifting capacity, Gen 3.5 can handle loads up to 66 pounds, a 50% increase compared to Gen 2. The goal of these upgrades is to enhance the flexibility of Optimus Gen 3.5 enabling it to perform a wide range of tasks. From industrial operations such as lifting pallets or assembling components, to domestic chores like cleaning, holding a mop, or dressing individuals with musculoskeletal impairments. The improved silicone covering and advanced tactile sensors also contribute to greater safety, reducing the risk of damaging objects or causing harm during human interaction. More importantly, these changes are aimed at positioning Tesla Optimus ahead of competitors, like Figure 2, especially in executing diverse and complex manipulations. When compared to the human hand, the Optimus Gen 3.5 hand reveals both notable similarities and differences. The human hand possesses 27 degrees of freedom, including 4 degrees of freedom for each finger, except for the thumb, which has 5 and additional wrist joints. This allows for highly complex gestures such as writing, playing musical instruments, or grasping objects of irregular shapes. With 25 degrees of freedom, the Gen 3.5 hand nearly matches this flexibility, enabling it to perform a wide variety of industrial and domestic tasks. However, it may still fall short in executing tasks that demand intricate coordination, such as playing the piano. In terms of grip, human skin has a natural coefficient of friction ranging from 0.5 to 0.8. Aided by sweat and microstructured skin texture, which helps it hold smooth surfaces like glass or metal. The silicone covering of Gen 3.5, with an estimated coefficient of friction up to 1.0, can match or even surpass that of human skin. This allows the robot to grip slippery objects securely without applying excessive force, thereby minimizing the risk of breakage. Moreover, silicone offers superior abrasion resistance and thermal durability compared to human skin making it more suitable for harsh industrial environments. It can operate in temperatures ranging from minus 20 degrees Celsius to 80 degrees Celsius and resist various chemicals such as household cleaning agents found in kitchens. From the perspective of manipulating small objects, the human hand achieves a precision of up to 0.1 millimeters, thanks to eye-hand coordination and natural tactile feedback. This allows humans to perform delicate tasks such as threading a needle or picking up a grain of rice. With its tactile sensors and AI control, Optimus Gen 3.5 can reach a precision of approximately 0.5 millimeters, sufficient for assembling electronic components or gripping small items like sewing needles, but may still be slower than humans in tasks requiring instantaneous reflexes. 
In terms of performance for specific tasks, Gen 3.5 outperforms Figure 2 in lifting heavy objects due to its higher load capacity and optimized actuation system. However, Gen 3.5 has an edge in precision and safety, thanks to its silicone covering and greater degrees of freedom. Regarding grip performance, the silicone on Gen 3.5 reduces the required force for holding objects, resulting in lower energy consumption and improved safety compared to the polymer material used in Figure 2. In real-world applications, the Gen 3.5 bionic hand can be deployed across various fields, from production lines such as pallet lifting and component assembly to healthcare tasks like assisting patients or holding medical instruments. By contrast, Figure 2 is primarily designed for domestic and human assistive roles and may be less effective in demanding industrial environments that require strength and durability. To illustrate the differences, let us look at the technical figures. In terms of degrees of freedom, the human hand achieves 27 degrees of freedom, offering maximum flexibility for performing complex tasks. Optimus Gen 3.5, with 25 degrees of freedom, comes very close to this level, making it capable of handling both industrial and household tasks. In comparison, Gen 3 has 22 degrees of freedom, while Figure 2 has only 20, limiting their ability in tasks that require high dexterity. Regarding lifting capacity, the human hand can lift between 44 and 110 pounds, but tends to fatigue with prolonged use. Generation 3.5, with a capacity of 66 pounds, outperforms both Generation 3 and Figure 2, which are limited to 44 pounds. This makes Optimus more powerful and reliable in tasks that demand strength. However, these upgrades are not without challenges. According to earlier statements from Elon Musk, Optimus may face export restrictions that could affect the production of the Gen 3.5 hand. The integration of high-quality silicone and complex tactile sensors may also drive up manufacturing costs, which could impact the target price of $20,000. This suggests that Tesla is likely to offer at least three variants of Optimus. One will be designed for industrial use, featuring a simple appearance, an open skeletal frame, and a focus on hand precision and strength. Another, commonly referred to as the best homemaker, will be tailored for household and healthcare assistance with a sleek design and Tesla's most intelligent AI integration. The final variant is expected to be a premium version priced up to $60,000, incorporating all performance upgrades along with a luxurious exterior. This version may be customizable according to customer requirements, which is something very few humanoid robot manufacturers currently provide. Moreover, the complex manipulation capabilities of the Gen 3.5 hand depend on its integration with Tesla's AI system, which is still under development. However, the potential of this design is significant. With the bionic hand, Gen 3.5 could expand its applications into fields such as healthcare and education, going far beyond its initial industrial roles. The advanced hand design allows Tesla to compete more aggressively with companies like Figure AI and Unitree positioning Optimus as a truly versatile humanoid robot solution. The silicone covering and human-like gestures also make Gen 3.5 more acceptable in environments involving human interaction, opening up new opportunities for widespread integration of robots into everyday life. How Tesla Build the Optimus Body to be Impressive Placing the brain of the Tesla Optimus humanoid robot in the torso rather than the head is a strategic design decision. Based on technical and functional considerations, the head of a humanoid robot is typically designed to be compact to resemble the human form and maintain aesthetic appeal. Furthermore, two critical components, the 1000 FPS high frame rate sensor cameras and the voice recognition microphone for identifying the owner's voice are housed in the head. This setup allows Optimus to recognize and process commands up to 10 times faster than if these systems were separated. The torso of a humanoid robot typically accounts for about 30 to 40% of the body's total height based on human anatomical proportions, approximately 24 inches. This dimension is well suited to accommodate essential internal components such as a 2.3 kilowatt hour battery or potentially larger if Tesla increases battery capacity in future iterations, the hardware considered to be the robot's brain, and two of the 40 actuators that are housed within the torso. Moreover, positioning the brain in the torso reduces the weight burden on the upper body enhances balance, and lowers the risk of damage in the event of collisions or falls. Tesla has demonstrated this with demo videos showing the robot climbing stairs, descending slopes, 
and navigating uneven terrain without falling, evidence that this design maximizes Optimus's mobility. The torso of the Tesla Optimus Gen 2 is constructed from a high-grade aluminum alloy and heat-resistant plastic, reducing the overall weight by 20 pounds compared to Gen 1, bringing it to approximately 63 kilograms. The optimized design ensures a compact form factor while still providing sufficient space for critical components. Its modular structure allows for easy maintenance, and an impact-resistant shell protects internal parts in harsh environments. An advanced cooling system, utilizing fans or liquid-based mechanisms, helps maintain stable performance. This design reflects Tesla's deep experience in electric vehicle manufacturing, ensuring both durability and efficiency for Optimus. What new phenomenal designs upgrade Tesla Optimus 3? So you're gonna design every motor gearbox, uh, power electronics, control electronics, sensors, mechanical elements. Elon Musk unveiled groundbreaking insights into the Optimus Gen 3 humanoid robot, emphasizing a paradigm shift toward complete in-house design and manufacturing. This approach marks a phenomenal upgrade from previous generations, where Optimus Gen 1 and Gen 2 relied on a mix of off-the-shelf components and custom parts. By internalizing every aspect of the design, Tesla aims to achieve unprecedented levels of integration, efficiency, and scalability. Positioning Optimus Gen 3 as what Musk described as finally the right design with no significant flaws at this. This holistic redesign is not just incremental. It's a leap forward that leverages Tesla's expertise in electric vehicles, AI, and high-volume manufacturing to create a robot capable of transforming industries from manufacturing to homemaker. Starting with the motor gearboxes, Optimus Gen 3 introduces custom-designed actuators that are lighter, more torque-efficient, and quieter than those in Gen 2. In prior iterations, Tesla used a combination of planetary gears and harmonic drives sourced externally, which limited precision and increased weight. Gen 2 weighed around 138 pounds after optimizations. For Generation 3, Tesla's engineers have engineered proprietary gearboxes with advanced materials like high-strength composites and optimized gear ratios, reducing energy loss by up to 30% and enabling smoother, more human-like movements. This upgrade allows the robot to handle payloads of over 50 pounds with finesse, far surpassing Gen 2's 40-pound limit while extending battery life during prolonged tasks. Musk's emphasis on in-house design means these components are tailored specifically for Optimus's humanoid form, minimizing vibrations that could affect sensor accuracy or structural integrity. Drawing from Tesla's Cybertruck and Model Y drivetrains, these gearboxes incorporate regenerative braking principles adapted for robotic limbs, recycling kinetic energy to boost overall efficiency in dynamic environments like factories or homes. Power electronics represent another core upgrade, where Tesla has shifted to fully custom inverters and power management systems. Previously, Gen 2 utilized adapted automotive-grade electronics, which were bulky and less optimized for the robot's variable load demands. In Generation 3, these are redesigned with silicon carbide semiconductors for higher voltage handling and faster switching speeds, reducing heat generation and improving power density. This results in a more compact power module that fits seamlessly into the torso, allowing for a slimmer profile potentially reducing the robot's width by 10 to 15 centimeters compared to Gen 2's 35 to 45 centimeters estimate. The in-house approach enables tighter integration with the 2.5 kilowatt hour battery, an upgrade from 2.3 kilowatt hours, supporting up to eight hours of continuous operation on a single charge. Musk noted during the call that this philosophy eliminates supply chain dependencies, echoing Tesla's vertical integration in battery production which could lower costs by 30% at scale. Furthermore, advanced thermal management, inspired by Tesla's vehicle cooling systems, ensures these electronics operate reliably in extreme temperatures, from minus 20 degrees Celsius in warehouses to 40 degrees Celsius in outdoor settings, enhancing Optimus's versatility for global deployment. Control electronics in Optimus Gen 3 have been revolutionized through Tesla's proprietary neural network processors, building on the full self-driving chip lineage. Musk's revelation underscores the creation of bespoke control boards that handle real-time AI inference with sub-millisecond latency, a vast improvement over Gen 2's adapted Dojo-derived hardware. These electronics integrate multi-core processors, optimized for edge computing, enabling the robot to process data from over 40 sensors simultaneously without cloud reliance. This upgrade facilitates advanced behaviors like adaptive grasping, obstacle avoidance, 
and even learning from human demonstrations via imitation learning. By designing these in-house, Tesla can fine-tune firmware for energy efficiency, reducing power draw during idle states by 40%. The control system also incorporates redundancy features, such as dual-path signaling to prevent failures in critical operations, making Gen 3 suitable for high-stakes applications like elder care or hazardous material handling. This level of customization aligns with Musk's vision of Optimus as the biggest product ever, potentially generating trillions in economic value through widespread adoption. Sensors form the perceptual backbone of Optimus Gen 3, with Tesla now crafting its suite of vision, tactile, and proprioceptive units. What do you think about this? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below. We hope to bring the best information to you. Please give a thumbs up if you like this. Join Techno Creator by subscribing and hit the bell icon so you will not miss out on any awesome videos. We value your feedback. Thanks for watching. Until then, stay safe and have fun.